Oh hey, hello everyone, my name is Loco. And welcome to a new StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm video. This time it's going to be about beta balance update number 11 that got released 14 hours ago. So here we go. Hi everyone, we will be bringing the beta down at 3 p.m. PST this afternoon to make balance changes listed below. Now they kind of put those changes in, in a little bit of a weird order, so I'm actually going to be reading like a little bit up and down. But uh, here we go, we are going to talk about the Reaper changes first of all. The Barracks. Train Reaper no longer requires a Tech Lab add-on. The Battlefield Awareness passive ability has been removed from the game. The movement speed has increased. The Nitro Packs upgrade has been removed from the game. And the Gauls Pistol Weapon upgrade, that's an interesting name, decreased from 4 plus 5 versus light. Now what will this mean? Well first of all, you will be able to reactor out Reapers, so you make the Reapers two at a time. They will be a little bit faster. They can't see up cliffs anymore. However, the weapon damage got decreased a little tiny bit as well. This is going to be really interesting, especially from a Zerg vs Terran standpoint. Because I believe things like Proxy Reaper or Double Proxy Barracks Reaper will be viable? I can't really say, but it will. It looks really, really strong. So it looks like um, these kind of changes will kind of force Zerg players to go for maybe a maybe a spawning pool expand instead of going a hatchery first. I can't say. Um, right now, I don't think Zergs really can go for a hatchery first anymore. They will probably need to go um, Zergly speed expand or maybe just pool expand. I can't really say. It's it's hard to say because Reapers are really, really fast now, and you can't really use queens to deal with them anymore. Anyway. Let's go to the other changes, the Hellbat. The attack speed changed from 1.9 to 2. The Inferno Pre-Igniter upgrade no longer increases Hellbat weapon damage. However, they increase the weapon damage just straight up from 10 plus 9 for this light to 18 plus 12 for this light. And the splash damage radius decreased from 110 to 45. Now this is kind of an interesting change because they were already really really strong against Zerglings. I can't really say if this is a buff or a nerf to the Hellbat, but it looks like they are going to be more interesting. But since the Reaper changes will most likely force Zergs to go for Roaches anyway, I don't see this change being all that huge. If a Zerg player will decide to go um, Link Queen right now, they will simply get overrun by Reaper Hellbat at this very point in time, I would imagine. Next up, the Medifact changes. The Caduceus Reactor no longer improves the healing rate of Medifacts, and the upgrade cost got decreased from 150 minerals and 150 gas and 110 seconds to 100, 180 seconds. The Emergency Thrusters ability got renamed to Ignite Afterburners, and what this will mean is that they will once again be able to get killed easily by, you know, by investors. Marine Marauder Medifact, once again, not viable after such a huge nerf. Next up we have the Raven change, it's a Seeker Missile. The energy cost got decreased from 125 to 75, the primary target damage reverted from 300 to 100, the Seeker Missile once again deals splash damage, the delay time prior to firing has been increased from 3 to 5 seconds. Now what this will mean is that you will have, once you actually research the Raven energy upgrade, you will have enough energy to fire a Seeker Missile as soon as it comes out. Kind of an interesting change, this is probably mostly going to affect um, Zerg players that will go for like a lot of Banelings or Mutalisk or whatever, because they once again do splash damage, however, it's hard to say um, what this will change because nobody ever really used Seeker Missiles, so it's kind of hard for me to call what's going to happen. And last but not least, we have the Siege Tank changes. The Siege Tanks no longer require an upgrade in order to enter Siege Mode. Like, what? Holy beep! Okay, so, what will happen in Zerg vs. Terran? I can't say. A lot of <laughs> really interesting changes. I can't say if it's for the good or for the bad, but it is definitely going to change the matchup a lot. So next up, we have a few Protoss and Zerg changes as well. First of all, the Mothership, the Vortex ability has been removed from the game. Well, this was a really silly ability right now, because it was actually one-shotting a unit, which was really stupid. The Invasion ability has moved to the Oracle, and the Time Warp ability has moved to the Mothership core and the Mothership. Cool changes all in all, really, really minor, and nothing too, too big. The Zerg changes are also really not that big either. The Fungal Growth damage decreased from 30 plus 10 for this armor to just plain straight up 30. And the Mutalist Regeneration passive ability renamed Tissue Regeneration, kind of a weird name, and its tooltip got updated as well. So those are the changes for the Heart of the Swarm beta right now. I'm really certainly curious how this is going to change the metagame, especially from a Zerg point of view. However, 
I'm really interested what you guys are thinking as well, so please leave me a comment in the section below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well as the favorite button if you enjoyed the video, as well as to subscribe if you want to see more. So I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to smile. And hopefully, I see you again.